What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Orlando, Florida. Today I'm here with my boy, DJ John Jatt. What's up everybody? And we're doing some West Indian food yeah. today. We're gonna be all over Orlando. We're gonna start up at Sing's, breakfast, uh, then head over to Legends for some lunch. Okay. And then Bakewell for some bakery. So this is Trini, the next one's like Guyanese mix, Guyanese and mix, then Chinese. more mix. More mix, yeah. All mix. West Indian Nothing food is the best. Oh, dude, I'm excited. So what area is this? Uh, this is Ola Vista. I'm most excited about this because we're having doubles right now. Yes. Doubles and pies. Uh, How are you guys doing? Good, good, good. Oh. No, we're getting doubles, yes. And um, aloo pie. And aloo pie? Aloo yeah. pie, definitely. Oh, I have to. Always I, come to sing. This is the best, right? It is, it good, is. Yeah. <laughs> too shy, you're too shy. <laughs> I'm not shy at all. Right. <laughs> Alright guys, we are going to the kitchen. Angie! Hi! How are you doing? Good, and how are you? Welcome uh, to Sing. I'm excited, I've heard so many good things. Yes, come on in. Thank you. Barra, this is the doubles, the bar for the doubles. This is the bread, this is the bara. This is the this best is the thing bara, ever. Yeah. Oh, it's so good, so good. Super thin, crispy. Yeah, as soon as... Look like how fast, how yeah, fast. That's that goes with it. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, Miami's missing doubles. Just like in Trinidad, they make it so quick. They just roll it out, super thin, they throw it in, it puffs up in literally 10 seconds, it's done. Yep. That's it. And this is made from uh, from what batter? Chickpea batter, this one. No, regular flour. Regular flour. Yeah. Okay, regular flour, perfect. Yeah. And over here we have the chickpeas, and then over there, what is that? This is all the curry, the turmeric, onion, garlic, spices in here. It's all fried up. In other words, we call it bunjo. So this is boneless curry chicken. Yes, this is the curry. This is it, the pre prep. It curry. looks amazing. It looks yes. like, like like mashed, right? Yes, this is the curry before the chicken goes into it. Oh my gosh, yes. it smells amazing. I, I love the smell of the baras too. The baras right now. Yeah. She just tossed in the boneless chicken. What else did you ask? Is that Chattel Bennon? Chattel Bennon. Of course. Cilantro, garlic, pepper. Got the salt going in there. What? Wow. So how long do you let this cook for? This is going to go for half an hour. That's it? That's it. Wow, okay. You know, I love the smell of the vodka because it smells like the elephant ears at the fair. Yes, sir. Except you don't put that sugar on top. This is straight savory. I'm so excited to eat. So how long have you been here? Going on 20 years. 20 years. Yes, 20 years. Amazing. Yeah, Incredible. So, so when did you leave Trinidad, though? Many years before that? 10 years. 10 years old. 10 years I old. 15. Oh, okay. So you've been here 40 years. That's right. In America, yes. It's amazing. Years. So what time do you really start? Five in the morning making the baras? Five. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's funny how you guys start so early. I get it. It's a, it's a lot easier to have it already, right? Instead of having to do this on the spot. Yeah, pretty much all day. Try spot all day. They usually start making these around three, four, five in the morning. You guys said five, right? Yeah, yeah. Five a.m. Yeah, so you make a few hundred a day. Yeah. Cause how how many doubles do you sell every morning? A lot. A lot. A lot. I'm sure. It's the most delicious thing ever. Ever. I like the pepper. Pepper and tamarind. That's right. And cochilla. And cochilla. Yeah. <laughs> she's shy, she's shy. Oh, that looks so good. So it's curry boneless chicken. My friend, you're making dal puri. <laughs> Look at those dal puris. So over here we have the dal, so lentils, right? Split peas. Split peas, and then we have the puri, right? So the bread, so they yes. stuff it, they make it into a ball, they flatten it again. That's right. And then put it back on this grill right on here. Grill. And then from there, it goes straight into here. Yes. Always. Right. Look at that, so they put it on the grill. Yes. On the griddle, and they've that's all clarified butter, right, ghee? Oil. Oh, just oil, okay, oil. And this is how they make dahi puri. They put the split piece inside the dough, they roll it up, they flatten it, then they throw it on the grill, they add some oil, they flip it a few times, and they put it into the cooler, and then from the cooler, straight out to eat. Yes. That's it. Yes. All right? Yes. Is, it, is it done? So I put it in yes. here? All right, so from here? Yeah. And then you. you like that? I did it backwards, right? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you guys are too funny. Oh my gosh. David, let's go see the food. Let's go. 
Yeah, so the way it works is when you walk in, go straight to the counter, you order your food, and it's right there. Almost like buffet style, but not really, right? Oh, yes, right here. Yeah, we're behind now. All right, here we go. So, Angie, what do we got here? Starting from this side, we have mac and cheese. We have Trini chow mein. We have jerk chicken, baked chicken. We have spinach rice. We have Caribbean style Chinese. We have fried chicken, peas and rice. We have the chana that goes for the doubles. We have dal, the split pea soup. We have lo mein. We have egg balls. We egg have balls. saltfish, bacalao, uh, bol jiao. So basically this is the mix of West Indy, right? So you got a mix yes. of Chinese, Indian, it's a fusion, right? Yes, the fusion of cultures right. Yes. right here. So here we have the mix of, uh, of like curries. So you got goat, I'm guessing. This is beef, that's oxtail. This is goat, boneless chicken. We have the chana for the doubles, potato. We have curry chicken with the bone. We have curry shrimp. We have stew chicken. We have pilau. And we have brown rice. Doing some potato, some chickpeas. We're doing, would you like oxtail? Yes, of course. That's beef? That's some beef. That's some goat. Oh, the goat, look at that, how rich the curry looks. I mean, you're doing everything here, huh? Boneless. And we got the shrimp. Wow. So you put everything on one plate. It's okay, yes. right? Yes. It's a good to mix it all. Yes, it is. So we just awesome. get some bread and dive right in. That's right. All right. But let's get some doubles. And over here is the dal puri. Look at that beautiful. Huge bread, it's super flaky. And here we have the bada, so we're gonna make some doubles. Yes. Do you like pepper on it? I need pepper. It's like the best street food of all time right here. Do you like an alu pie? We have to do one alu pie. Alu pie. <laughs> the alu. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna throw, what, some chickpeas and the same thing, right? Basically the same as doubles. John, you ready? John, what are you having? Uh, the alu pie with beef. Alu pie with beef? Friend, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I need a solo. I need a solo. I need Han, I need Han. Cola champagne? Yes, we need oh, it. Banana. Oh, we need both. We'll take both. You got it. My man, John, are you ready for this? Yeah, bro. We got everything here. Got everything. So we have the mix of curries, we have the doubles, the pie, and we have the dal puri or dahi puri? Yeah. Dal. dal puri. Dal puri. Dal puri. The messy real cheese. So I got two pies. I got an alu pie, and I got right here a doubles. And that's the doubles, guys, right How do you there. Get your doubles? Oh, dude, you like that? Uh, okay, all right. We need to eat it right. Mm. Oh, it's so good. It's fluffy. Oh, man. I need some more pepper. I need more pepper, for sure. And you're supposed to take two bites. That's what they told me. Two bites. That's it, like this. Mm. Two bites. Done. Done. Mm. Not too spicy. Obviously, they didn't go crazy with the pepper. I like the tamarind, though. Nice and sweet. Man, this is phenomenal. This is literally takes me back straight to Trinidad right now. Alu pie and beef. Uh, I always get an alu pie. They normally put chana in it. I put um, beef. any meat. No, I put goat in it. Chicken, oh, you put shrimp. any And you could do that. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. Cause I never saw a pie being stuffed like that. I've seen like eggplant pies. Yeah. Always throw alu, right? They I always throw. Meat in it. I always throw meat. Man, let's do it. Right, let's you with the beef pie, pie me with the beef, double. Beef, beef, beef. Look at this. So ready? pick it up. I'm ready. Ready. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Love the butter. Mmm. And if you want to get crazy, you just gotta go like that. Mmm. Hot, spicy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's getting there. Mmm. It's amazing. I'll drink this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was that hot. It is. Now it's hot. You, yeah. That's yeah. But that shot on Benny. It's, it's, it's hot, so good. It's hot, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. I mean. <laughs> Phenomenal. Delicious. Wow. And if you want to, you get a triple. You can get a quad, right? 
But you need, you need more stuff. Maybe you know? Two, maybe yeah, two. you can put the uh, meat inside the double soup. Mm. Oh, yeah. First doubles I tried in Trinidad, we had meat. Yeah. It was uh, then doubles? Then doubles? I had it with duck. Boy. With duck? With duck. Yeah. Mm. I've never actually tried it with duck. Yeah, I mean, they gave us a duck, they had shrimp. I mean, basically like this, yeah, on top. Yeah. On top of a double. It was yeah. different. So if you get a bada, you just go in here, and you're having a double. But it's usually it's veg style. Obviously, if it came from India, yeah. it's more pure veg, yeah. right? And uh, I'm missing my pie. Which one is this? Just alu pie, right? Look at this. I love it. It's basically a sandwich, right? It's a veg sandwich. Because uh, you said hoagie. I was thinking more like a po' boy. Yeah, you know, in, in the sense of the bread, right? Because yeah. the bread is it's denser. It's still uh, inside very soft, though. Yeah. But then All it's right. filling with the potato. Oh, we got some tamarind? Yeah. Got some tamarind right here. Let's pop it open. I can throw tamarind on everything. Look, dude, you want some? I can eat it by itself. You want? Yeah. Dude, I mean, tamarind all day for the win, right? Let's go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Love the bread. So good. It's not too oily. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. It's not too heavy. Mm hmm. It's just to hold. To hold everything together, right? Mm hmm. You know what's cool about this is that it's a breakfast item, but it's basically an all day item now, right? Eat all day, yeah. You can add everything. Awesome, right? Dude, I love it. Oh, this is really good food. We always gotta wash it down with a mm -hmm. solo. So if you guys don't know, you have to pair a double and a pie with solos. This is the traditional one, right? Right here, the cola red. And then they gave me the banana one right here. Banana one's nice. It's almost like, I mean, not champagne because it's no alcohol, but it's more like a, a, a frizzy yeah. banana soda. This one's good. Oh, so refreshing. Red's my favorite. Or Dude, I don't drink soda, but this together, it's a perfect combination. So in Trinidad, usually people do this in the mornings, on the go, right? On the go, quick, easy. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. So good, I love the chickpeas. Mm. So again, this is like a spin on chole batore, or the doubles is spin on chole batore, right? Which is an Indian, northern Indian breakfast dish. Okay. Makes it bread with chickpeas, but here you guys, yeah, they changed it in a way with all the different chutneys, yeah, and also the way they make the bara. But not you guys, because in Guyana they have it as well, or no? No. Huh. Mm. The sweetness of the tamarind. There you go, bro. Oh. No, I'm full. I'm full, I still have to go more spots. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Awesome. There's something about this batter, no? So good, so good. Yeah. And the spice level, it's not crazy. It's right there. I mean, I'd sing it like a seven or eight. For spice? It depends on, it really depends on the peppers again. Yeah, yeah. And right here we have the fresh chest made dal puri. Look at this. Beautiful bread. Oh, wow. So it's similar to a roti, a roti. It's just open like this. Looks, it's like, oh, all over. Oh, so we go in here, get some of that, right? Let's pull some. Yeah, pull as much as you want, man. We have so much. It's huge. And then over here we have a mix, right? So we have uh, beef, we have chicken, we have shrimp. Shrimp, oxtails in there. We got a little Go. shrimp. A little shrimp. Get some of those chickpeas, some potatoes. And if you want, you can dip it into these. Get some more heat, but let's try it alone, right? Mmm. Mmm. Soft. Mmm. Oh. I love the combination of curries here. You feel a little bit of everything. Mm hmm. Awesome. The shrimp. That's mine. <laughs> it's so good. There's an so oxtail in there. Where's the oxtail? You know right what it is? Right there, I think. Right there. Just go in here. Oh, yeah. So you got the bone right there. Pull off the bone. And then after this, you could just go in here and just get a stammer, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Ready. Mm-hmm. The oxygen just falls apart. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the combination. Different. 
Different, so unique. I love this because you know, for me, I can eat everything mixed. I personally all do in that. All one plate, yeah. All in one plate. Some people think it's weird. I'm like, no, no, that's the best way to get all the flavors, all the different textures, combine them. You know, you see what you like, you know. Got some oxtail. Got some chickpea in that one. Mm. Tastes different. Mm. Oh my gosh. And use one hand, guys. Just like this? Yeah. Just like that. This one holds the solo. That one holds the solo. <laughs> my left holds the solo. Mmm. Mmm. Bone? A little bone. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. So good. No bone. So good, yeah. Because it has no bone, I just go with this, right? Mmm. I just get it wrapped in a roti. Mmm. But so much flavor in there. Wow, the curries, right? Oh, I'm, making, I'm feeling everything. I'm feeling heat somewhere here. Oh, it's good. I think it has some goat. Mm hmm. Wow. You come here often? All the time. All the time, of course. <laughs> I mean, if I lived here, I would come here all the time. Bring one to Miami. <laughs> one day, right? Mm. Dude, I'm just going straight by the trend out with this. It's crazy. It's insane how food can teleport you somewhere else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and you're there again, you know? Man, you know what? For me, the star was the shrimp. Shrimp? And then I'll get some of the the chana on the side. The oxtail and the goat. And then I gotta dip it into this. Yes, get some of that pepper. The pepper. All right, man. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, you like this one, right? Get that. Mm. Just put a piece. Put it up. Yeah. Right? And then take another roti and put it on top. Put another one on top. Uh, you know what? For good measure, right? <laughs> what haven't I tried here? I think I tried everything already, right? That's the goat right like there. Like that, the goat right there. If you want some more oxtail. And compress it like this. I'm gonna get some of this tamarind. <gasps> oh, the tamarind's so sweet. Mm hmm. Good. This guy's mesmerized. <laughs> No, you're good, bro. You're good. And because we're filling up so much with the dal puri, it's gonna go in here and grab some of this, right? Yeah, just eat meat. Get some of that meat. Like that. Literally, I'm just mixing all the different proteins right here. Mm. I can always eat more. I can. Oh, I love this food. This food's too so good. good. And yeah. you eat the roti by itself. You can just eat the dal puri. It's yeah. Flavorful. Just fill up on that, right? And then straight in here, Peppa. Finish. <laughs> that sneaks up on you. So you all day. <laughs> all day. Angie, the food is amazing. Thank you. No, you're the best. You're the best. So guys, now you know, if you want the best doubles and pies in Orlando, you got to come right here. At Sings Roadie Shop, Old Winter Garden Road. My man, are you ready? I'm ready to go. Let's go. Let's go eat some Guyanese. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. So where are we right now in Orlando? Uh, like what area is this? Uh, Metro West. Metro so West. Kirkman. Metro West is this way. Um, I drive. You got Universal around here. Okay. Uh, all the theme parks, hotels. Oh, yeah? Distraction. And so are all the Trinis and like West Indian population here We're in this mixed. area? Uh, Big mix. Orlando's mixed with uh, Guyanese, Trinis, Virgin Islands, people from Grenada, all over the islands. It's tropical. Awesome. <laughs> and after about a 10 minute drive, we're here at Legends Resto and Lounge. I mean, they have a lot of food, a lot of different cuisines, but we're going Chinese Guyanese, right? I'm hungry. I'm hungry too, bro. Yeah. I know. We were full and now we're hungry. So always happens to me. Yes. Yeah. Nice David, you. pleasure. Yeah. All right, so what are we doing? Right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Lounge, um, entertainment. Perfect. So I'm excited for some noodles, some rice, maybe some pepper shrimp. 
There you go. Oh, it's gonna be good. We're making some fried rices. Fried rice. So we're gonna have like a pineapple fried rice. Say it's like their best seller. Uh, pepper shrimp. We're gonna get like some lao mein, some noodle dish, and then uh, roast lamb, right? Roast lamb. Roast lamb. Wow. All right, let's go. My man. Yes, sir. How you doing? Good. Good. You ready to go? Ready to go. Guyanese. Guyanese. <laughs> <laughs> mix, mix. If you guys don't know, I'm going to Guyana in July. I'm going to Georgetown and then to the interior. And right here we have Chris. All right. Ready to go? Yes, sir. All right, so when you're ready. Right. So what are you doing there? So now we're going to start to um, just get all the ingredients together, all the meat first. This is the pineapple fried rice, but it's mixed. So you have some shrimp, you have some chicken. You got the pork. And pork as well. Okay, yeah. got it, got it. So, Great. Yeah, so now we're gonna wait until it gets cooked. Mm -hmm. then before we... I mean, it already smells good, man. Right. So then we're oh. gonna add all our vegetables Long beans, carrots, and onion. So like that, cook at least like for a, a minute too. I want to take all the juice off the pineapple. Right now. Put the egg inside. Oh yeah, you need that nice egg, huh? Yeah, so like that. That's the glue. And then, and then next up, we just got rice, right? Yeah. So once you get to cook all the way through, then, then you put the rice in. And you got all rice, fried rice all seasoned already. All seasoned, yeah, perfect. All seasoned, so you have that looks so good, man. Yeah. You guys know what I love about like that part of the Caribbean? Guyana, Suriname, Trinidad, that mix, that, that Indian, Chinese fusion is something so different. You'll never see it anywhere else on earth. And they perfected it. Look at this, look at this rice dish. Dude, it smells fantastic. Woo! That's it? And it's, it's short grain rice, right? This is how we try to plate it. Now we try to plate it, and then we, obviously, we finish, we just garnish. Cabbage, cilantro, and some shallot, and that's our finished product. And that's it. Dish number one. Mm. Done. Just our whole sauce for, what's this, for the fried rice, and this is for the lao mein, and this is for the pepper shrimp. It's amazing. I love it. Yeah, we're going in with the lamb fried rice now. Lamb fried rice? This is one of our big, big seller also. Yeah, my favorite. Yeah. This is my favorite. This is your favorite? This is my favorite. The lamb fried rice? <laughs> you want to make sure you get everything in there. Woo! You don't want to keep it too much, too long on the wok because it burns. Yeah, it's too hot, right? Right, right. So that wok is like scorched. I mean, this is the secret of like Chinese dishes is this wok. This wok has to be on fire. I mean, if you take it, the wok off, you see the fire below it, it's like flying out. It's crazy. You know, in the last dish, one of them hit me in the face. <laughs> Yeah, so if you put your fry on the stuff, you will see dumping it around all over the place. And, and this is how we, we, we try to plate them. This is your lamb fry. Right? Same thing on the plate. Yes, yeah, so we always try to plate it no, a little bit differently. And a lot of people, I guess the cabbage is a bit best seller for them. I mean, cabbage is nice and crunchy. What are you doing next? Now we're going to do the lao mein. Lao mein. Doing some noodles. Yes. yes. Beef lao mein here. So obviously, you want to put the beef in first. To cook at least all of it through, like three quarter way, and then you once it's just cooked, and then you put your, your veggies with it. Ninety percent through, then you want to add a little bit garlic, a, a, a little garlic in it, flavor. So that's cooked like for thirty seconds. Long minute it was already prepared, and warm, and then when you throw that in. Woo! Oh my gosh! Then we get our oh, that's what we need. That sauce. Yeah, our homemade sauce. Oh yes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our homemade sauce. Yes, sir. You want to How good that looks. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh gosh, this is gonna be amazing. Obviously the same way we would plate it. Same way. Yes. Always in a bowl and then flips onto the plate. Yes, that's it. I like it. Because yeah. <laughs> it stays clean, not messy. Right. Yes. Then plate, turn over evenly. Just make sure it stays there. The same garnish goes on it. A little cabbage. A little green. And just 
got it. Dude, these noodles look amazing. These noodles look too good. I'm a, I'm a fried rice man, but... <laughs> you know what? I, I love fried rice, but I have so many rice dishes in Asia, Middle East. I love my noodles, man. Yeah. Noodles. Like <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be good. Next, next to go, we're going to do a pepper lamb. Pepper lamb? Yeah, pepper lamb time. Oh. That's a natural pepper lamb. One sort of thing to cook. A little ginger. Pepper lamb, you want to peppers. So pepper lamb, it's not spicy spicy though, right? No, it's, it's, you can make it a request. Okay. Yeah, but, but this, Let's make it a little spicy. Go ahead. A little spicy. A little, spicy. A little bit. I love my lamb spicy. Oh, right there. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, chili flakes. Oh, nice. You use chili flakes and we also have our own pepper. Pepper, pepper you, you, it's not hot enough, you, you give you a little spicy. Yeah, you need that garlic. Yeah, Guys, this is intense out here. No, oh yes, that sauce. Oh. Oh yes. Once you reduce down. Done. You know what I love about it? It reminds me of every Chinese dish. The three. And that's how we will serve that. Oh my gosh, that looks phenomenal. We do our famous pepper shrimp. One of our biggest sellers. Oh, his biggest seller? Yeah, entree and appetizer. Color, flavor. Key ingredient, ginger. Ginger's key ingredient? Oh, man. Garlic, ginger. It's all good. This is before you put in our homemade sauce. You want to make sure everything cooked. Good. You're of course. Good. Once the sauce go in, you, you got 30 seconds. That's it. You're good. You got a lot of requests for make it very saucy. Very saucy? Yes. Yeah. I'm a huge sauce guy, man. Yeah. I need sauce with everything. Very and good. now I need spice with everything. That's right. I, I just I like, through the years of traveling, right. if it's no spicy, I don't eat it. Very good. No. So oh, look at that. You just baste it. Yeah, let it sit for a little bit. Let it simmer, right? That's right. Here you go. And this is the way you use plate this. Oh yeah, yeah. That sauce has gotten nice and thick. And as you can see, this, this would be one of our regular portion. For, for uh, oh yeah, regular portion. Yes, yes. For artists. Oh yeah, this would be one of. Dude, our it portions. smells like I'm in China right now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So good. As you can see, you know, the portion is not that small either. So. No, it's yeah. not small. This is yes. like for two people. Yeah. This is one of the biggest sellers also. Or roast pork. Roast pork. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, there we go. Dude, I thought we were done. Yeah, right. well, we'll give you a, a last surprise here. Uh, I mean, he's like, you have to try this. Yeah, I love the roast pork. The roast pork? Yeah. Oh, it looks phenomenal. Yeah. And I love the pork because it has it's nice and red on the outside. Right. And I just added some onions. We added our scallion. Then after the last the garlic, you know, with a big flavor. It, it, oh my gosh. Dude. Yeah. One of our homemade sauce again. Woo! Look at that fire! Oh my gosh! Don't let it hit me! I did. I almost lost my eyebrows here. <laughs> Man, this dish looks amazing. This yeah. dish looks amazing. What, yeah, this, this also has been ordered as an appetizer and also as, as a main course. So they use white rice or beef and rice and or fried rice with this. All right. And also the. This is what a you know one of our regular portion what we would be serving. Got it. Always oh, garnishings, right? Yes, yeah. Yes. I mean, it makes it look pretty, but also it tastes better, right? Yes. Thank you so much, Chris. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Right? Yes. I got it right. Yes. yes. Perfect. Awesome. I'm excited. We got six dishes. We have a uh, rice noodles. We came we for have three. Shrimp, pork. I know. Came for th <laughs> You're the man, dude. You're the man. Thank you so much. Let's do it. My man, this is too much, this too much epic. food. This is epic. So we got uh, pineapple fried rice. We have the lamb fried rice, pepper shrimp, roasted pork, pepper lamb, and then the lao mein. So how do we start, dude? I mean, let's get a little bit of everything, right? Yeah, let's see. What fried rice did you just serve yourself? Uh, the pineapple fried rice, and on the side, we're gonna take some of that roast pork. And then some shrimp. Some shrimps. Pepper, some the onion, a couple of shrimps. I am so excited. Let's do this, bro. I'm going with the pork. Got some pepper over here. Some pepper too? Yeah. 
report. Mm hmm. The sauce. The, the sauce, man. Dude, what's crazy is that it reminds me of China. It's straight up, you know? Wow, everything. The flavors, mm, the pastiness of that sauce. sauce. Mm, mm. Trying some rice. Oh, this pineapple fried rice? What? Mm, it's like the juices of the pineapple have like gone it's through, like infused into the rice, right? And then they have their famous pepper. Oh yeah. Voila, huh? Obviously, I haven't been to Guyana, but you have Suriname, you have Venezuela, you have Trinidad, all right there. All right you know, there. So the, the mix, the combinations are different spices. Different spices. Wow, man. Can't wait for the pepper. Awesome. Mm hmm. Mm. Pepper makes it, sets it. Mm hmm. It sets a different tone here, right? Gives it some, some funk. Mm hmm. For the people that don't eat pineapple on pizza, mm -hmm. pineapple on fried rice. <laughs> Pineapple's so good. No, I love pineapple on pizza. That's like a Hawaiian style, right? Huh. Mm hmm. Mm. The shrimp, it's the best thing in this plate. Oh, wow. Pepper. Mm hmm. And the pepper's not too spicy. Oh, I love the richness of the sauce. And the sauce, you just start mixing it in with the rice, right? Yep. The shrimp are too good, though. The massive shrimp. Juicy too. Yeah. Come here a lot. It's a legend. All the time. Mm -hmm. the, the lamb fry rice is my favorite. The duck, mm -hmm. you know, the shrimps. The I love that though because I, I've never seen a lamb fry rice in my life. Awesome. Mmm. Mmm. The roast pork. Dude, it's tender. It's sweet. And tangy. With the pepper. This place is so good. <laughs> when you said legends, I was like, legends? Mm-hmm. What a stellar plate, huh? <laughs> and we still have three more? Uh, we got some lao mein here. Mm. And we have the beef. What's your lao mein? The beef lao mein. Beef lao mein. Try some that. Not too much, man. Too much starch, you will fill up so fast. Pepper lamb, almost like the pepper shrimp we had. Mm-hmm. But now with lamb. Piece of lamb. Not too little. So you, got, you, want, you want a red pepper here? Here's a red pepper. All right, bro. I think I'm gonna try the lamb, right? Pepper, pepper lamb. lamb. Pepper lamb. It looks too good. Mm. Mm. Almost like the, almost like the pork. Almost like the pork. I mean, it's not too spicy. No. No, no, it's just way more like, way more saucy. Mmm. For all the peppers. Mm hmm. Super crunchy. Mm hmm. And this is the. This is the beef, the lo mein? Beef, mein. beef right here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love, love lo mein. Noodles all day, man. Definitely tastes different than um, Chinese. Mm-hmm. On twist, right? Yeah. Guys, we have one more dish. The lamb fried rice right here. It like almost flew off. <laughs> a little bite. Yeah, give it a shot. This is your favorite, right? It's my favorite. This or the, the lamb lo mein. Lamb I can't wait because I've never had a lamb fried rice in my life. All right, so let's try this lamb fried rice. The lamb fried rice. Your favorite, right? Yes. Cheers, man. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Different. So different. That meatiness. The egg. Mm. I love a small grain rice, but dude, the sauce. Whatever they're putting in here. <laughs> sauce. What is in that sauce? Mm. My man here can't. <laughs> he has no stamina. <laughs> mm. Awesome. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, the sauces. You know, like, no real crazy spice. It's just nice and like creamy. Like level. Like the glaziness yeah. to it, right? Super saucy. Mm. Oh man, lamb all day. Put you on twice already for today. Dude, if this is how it is, in Guyana, I'm gonna gain a lot of weight. <laughs> right? Yeah. 
Alright. You ready not gonna finish up? I'm gonna pack it and go. Pack it and go. Pack it and go. Mm. One more of that lamb though. You no. Know, I love all the the pepper dishes, the roast pork, but I think what makes this place are the Sauce. other yeah, but the fried rice dishes. Mmm. Mmm. He was gonna take this all home to his family. I'm taking it home. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Cool. Mm. My man, thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate Thanks it. For coming. Thank you. My man, thank you. For sure. Guys, come to Legends. And you know what? They got some legends over there. They got Pele, they have Cristiano. Well, he's not he's not done yet. No. He's not done yet. Guys, thank you. Take care, man. Thank you. All Take right. care. Full? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> if you were to tell me we were done, I'd be done. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm like food drunk. Bye bye. You guys look good. You guys look good. I love it. Oh, have a good day. Take care. Take care. Bye. Stop number three. Bakery. Bakery. Let's go. Okay. So now we're going all the way back to Sings. Uh, right around that area, there's another bakery called Bakewell. So we're gonna stop in, get some food. Yes, sir. Yeah. How you doing, bro? Good. I'm great. I was watching you this morning. Yeah, it's amazing. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm in Trinidad right now. No, I'm in Orlando. <laughs> I had some doubles today, dude. Yeah? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Thanks, bro. So after a 10-minute drive right here. So I didn't know this, but Bakewell is a company from Guyana. They basically do like 40% of the market share of bread. Bread. Bread in Guyana. Flat bread, tennis roll. Got it. And that's what we have here, right? This is the bread right here. So it's flat bread. Flat bread. Flat. Like the braid in your hair. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, dude. First time reading it. I haven't been to Guyana yet, guys. I haven't been. And then over here they have some sweets, right? Yes. So sweets and tamarind balls, amazing tamarind balls. Over here, more bread in the fridge. So obviously if somebody's like driving down to Miami, it's better to have it yeah, there. Pick it up and, and and then over here we have some more sweets, right? So what do we got? We have like pink sugar cakes, bunch of sugar cakes. We got some cupcakes, more cakes. So what are we gonna try? Let's go, let's go meet with the man and see what we're gonna try. Steve Charon, nice Steve. to meet you. Steve, so tell me a little bit about Bakewell. And what do you guys do here? It's a food court concept, basically. And what we do is bring it to Orlando, a place where it's like more like a family environment. People who come in, bring the family. If someone wants roti and curry, they can have that. If they want pizza, fried chicken, pasta, it's all here. It's like savory, sweet, you got drinks. Got it all. Have it all. So this is like bread and sweets, and over here we have traditional stuff like the curries and rotis and rices and stews and all that stuff. Right here. We got a variety of rice back there. You know, we're ending our meal. We had a lot of savory stuff. I think sweet. This is all made here, but this is more American. Yeah, yeah. But if you want to go more traditional. Let's go with traditional, for sure. Um, what are you thinking? Pine tart, right? That's kind of sweet. That's the one that's, that's the one that's pine tart. Yes, get that. Uh... All right, so there's so many sweets, so many savory items, but we're going, of course, with dessert. What do we got here? Uh, we picked cassava pone and we picked salami. So there's like a cassava, um, cassava you know, cake? The, the root, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like cassava yeah. cake. Yeah, cassava or yuca in Espanol. Yeah, yuca cake. Yes, yuca cake. Yuca, yeah. And this is? Salara. Salara. Um, really don't know what this one is made of. So it's like a sticky I just, bread. Yeah, so I just remember it as a kid. Yeah, I feel like it's it's sticky, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, sugar syrup, maybe? Maybe. All right, so let's cut this in half, right? Oh, look at this. Fluffy. <gasps> hot. So hot. <gasps> look at the layers. <gasps> it's too good. Let's go. A coconut. Mm hmm. Mm. Awesome. Lots of sugar. Coconut. So many layers. What else is in here? It looks no like idea. the same bread that they use. Mmm. Mmm. Same bread. So soft. It's like literally falling apart right now. Whoa. Coconut stuffed dough. Like a cinnamon bread, cinnamon bun. And they use uh, red food coloring. Red food understand. coloring. No more. Put that one to the side. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you ready for this one? Oh, that's so hot. Oh, I mean, it's so hot. It's supposed to be hot, right? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. It feels almost like banana bread on fire. Oh, that smoke coming out. Of All right, bro. Let's Cheers. do it. Cheers. Mm-hmm. So dense, sticky. Mm -hmm. I think this thing needs a little more sweetness to it. Yeah. Personally, I think coming from that. Yeah, yeah. From that to this, this is coming a little more bland. But it's nice. It's almost like a banana bread, right? Mmm. So hot. <laughs> this 
With a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. Awesome. Thank you. That's all you need. Dude, and I'm full. I am done. That was amazing, bro. So good. Thank you. So what did we do? We went to three spots. Sings, we went to the Legends, and then we came here to Bakewell. So it's a big mix, right? So we had some Trini food, we had some Chinese Guyanese, and then this was more like Guyanese pastries, right? Or sweets. Yeah, sweets. Right? But here they have so much more. It's not just this, they have everything. Pizza, fried chicken, they got bread. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Curries. I mean, phenomenal dishes. I think the first place in Sings, the doubles, double for sure. Then the last uh, in Legends, I don't know, man, those Chinese uh, fried rices, those fried rices. The, the pork, rice, the, pork <laughs> the lamb fried rice. I mean, it's all good, right? And for these two, I just go with this one. Salara. The Salara. Coconut. Mmm. The cinnamon roll. Cinnabon. Cinnabon. <laughs> it's a straight up bomb right there. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Having West Indian food here in Orlando, huge Trini, Guyanese, Surinamese community. I mean, it's a big mix of everybody. Yeah, Caribbean, pie. right? Yeah. You got more people Dominican, Grenadian, yeah, Barbados, Guyanese, Trinis, Jamaicans. Oh, I love it. I love it, dude. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video touring my boy right here, DJ. John Jack. <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking. <laughs> Amazing. Well, guys, if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And I am stuffed. And I have to go to a wedding right now. <laughs> oh, save me, bro. <laughs>